for seven days, seven nights. One full week. Without speaking, but we are with him. Hallelujah. Yeah. I remember in the first course, we are being taught. Do you know sometimes when somebody is mourning, is in bereavement, in bereavement, sometimes there are times that we become too excited. As soon as we reach that person, right in the time of mourning, you bring out the you open the Bible and start speaking, no, no, don't worry, God is with you. Sometimes I think it's not necessary at particular times. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Sometimes it's not necessary. But it's to just get closer and part this person. Yeah. Just that. Part this person. Mm. Be silent with that person. Hallelujah. It matters. Then shall the 
righteous answered him, saying, Lord, when? So we thee and honor and fed thee all that all thirsty and gave thee drink. When we, when we, when, so we the stranger and took thee in, or naked and crossed thee. And the king shall answer and say unto them, Verily I say unto you, Inasmuch as you have done it unto one of the least of these my children, you have done it unto me. Amen. Then shall he say also unto them, On the left, depart from me, you curse, into everlasting fire, prepared for the devil and his angels. For I was unhungered, and you gave me no meat. We continue reading just from there. What is the story behind this? There are times that we fail to do certain visits on the sick people who are in dear need of somebody just to say some words or just to be closer. We have not done that. Maybe it could be neglect. It matters. Because this shall be reflected on the judgment day. We don't know. Certain things that we have failed to do matter. We may see ourselves either as gods or sheep on that day. Because what we do today matters. Hallelujah. It matters. The day will be a day of surprise when Christ shall come and make judgment. Those things that we thought don't matter will matter as those things on the basis of Christ's judgment. Certain things that we thought did not matter mm. on that day, they will really matter. Mm. Just taking a cloth and giving a cloth to this person who is naked matters. Mm. Hallelujah. Amen. In short, rendering service, rendering hell to the people who are when you have do it, it matters. <coughs> Helping the needy, caring for the sick matters because that reflects on what will happen in the future. It matters for you to get involved in such uh, the giant ways. It matters when we get together. After all, when we are doing this, we are building the kingdom of God because as much as we do this, this thing, they shall be reflected on the end of this world that we did there. And if we neglect that, it matters because this shall be reflected. If we read Luke 17 verse 11, there is a story about the ten lepers there. The ten lepers, Christ healed them. We told them, go and see the priest. Because they wanted healing. And when he told them, go to see the priest and you'll be okay, out of all the ten, only one came back. Mm. And if I read the way he showed his humility, and one in verse 17, verse 15, and one of them, when he saw that he was healed, and turned back with a loud voice glorifying God. And he fell upon his face at his feet, giving him thanks. And he was a Samaritan. In short, he was a foreigner. He was not supposed to go back to the Jew and stand before him because these two could not live. They were not living together. Mm. Hallelujah. Amen. It was a breaking of certain barriers at that time. But he went back to Jesus to say thank you. But when Jesus said, Jesus said, we are not dead, where are the other ten? But are they, why are you only nine? Where are the other nine? So, but I am particular to the last way. He told him, arise and go thy way. Thy faith has made you whole. Mm. Hallelujah. Amen. Just by going back to appreciate, to say thank you to this man 
of God, sorry, the Lord God, Jesus Christ, he was healed, holy. I think to think, where are those other men healed? It's not here. It's not here. But I may add, I know the Bible says that do not add. <laughs> do not add. I don't think they had the whole healing. Yes, there could have been some visibility of their cleansing at that time. But I don't think they were healed completely. Why did Jesus use this word? You have been healed of war. Completely. I like the word completely. Because in other versions I couldn't find this war. You have been healed of war. You have been healed completely. The other nine thought it did not matter just to walk around. <laughs> it didn't matter. We have been healed. <laughs> and should I go back? <laughs> Just walk away. Post on. Broadness is the way that needed. <laughs> Out of ten, nine went <laughs> off track. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. the local councils. 
uh, Africa team rider. Then I said, yes, I think I would, I would be interested. You know, he gave me this product at a very, very cheap price. Mm. Amen. And I bought it. Amen. It did not matter whether I was fisting this man. Hallelujah. Practical implementers of the faith Amen. that we have. 